Hey guys, um, it's the Unmeasurables Women's Health Advocate, Tara, um, just checking in. Um, I wanted to talk this week um, about a topic that is not often the most um, talked about when you um, are talking about refugees and camps and because um, it's really not that sexy. Um, and I wanted to um, discuss some uh, bed bugs and lice. Um, so this is actually a really big issue in refugee camps all across the world. Um, we um, faced it ourselves in Greece this past summer. Um, one of our volunteers, um, Sheru, she actually uh, had a lot of re allergic reactions to bed bugs, which were potentially in the camp or potentially in her Airbnb. We're not totally sure. Um, but a lot of the staff that we interacted with, um, you know, and as well as well as the refugees that we um, worked with um, this past summer, a lot of them had pet bugs and lice, um, and it's obviously contracted in um, you know small confined spaces where there's limited water, um, clean water access, and uh, sanitary conditions are not that clean. Um, but it's something to really um, think about. Um, it's not that fun. Um, your head's itching all the time. Um, and all of your prized possessions um, really will collect those bugs and you eventually will have to get rid of them. Um, I know my um, friend in New York, she once had bed bugs in her apartment and she literally had to freeze her teddy bear um, to get rid of the bed bugs for two years. Um, like freeze it for two years. So. Um, yeah, in a refugee camp, you're not going to have that luxury to be able to freeze your items to get rid of the bed bugs. So, um, but yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, anywho, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.